I get an AI SEO performance report sent to my inbox every week. It analyzes my performance on platforms like Perplexity, OpenAI, Web Search, and DiffBot, and gives me a summary of my overall performance, platform-specific recommendations, where I'm lacking, and actionable recommendations of how I can improve my AI SEO. This use case takes full advantage of our new keyless nodes, letting us use five different models in the same workflow without having to set up an API key or billing account with Grok, OpenAI, Perplexity, Diffie, and Gemini. You can build and ship this in just a few minutes using this template on BuildShip, and we'll set this up to be triggered by a REST API call, by sending an email, or to trigger once a week and send it right to your inbox. We even have a new AI handoff that we can use so that we can put it into any existing application and let the AIs talk to each other so we have less work to do. Let's dive into it. We're going to walk through a new feeling and very relevant use case for BuildShip's newly released keyless nodes. Let's come over here to our project and search for the template AI SEO audit. And we can click on it to remix the template. I love this template because it takes full advantage of our new keyless nodes. It accepts as input a target entity URL. We'll use BuildShip. Let's say our search context is no code tools. This is how we want to show up when somebody searches perplexity or OpenAI search, for example, for something similar to the search context. We'll send the email to myself with the report. And let's say we want to run four different search terms. We'll test this and then walk through the workflow. So first, this is going to scrape the URL that we provided it. It's, it's going to look at the BuildShip homepage and look at the copy we used to describe BuildShip. It then is going to use Grok from XAI to create a list of search terms from the search query account, where it tries to find informational queries, transactional queries, navigational and commercial investigation queries, trying to get a good understanding of what people might actually be searching for on these new tools. And it takes in the target entity URL, the context of what's on the web page, and then search context as well of what we're trying to show up as. I'll hide some of this. We then loop through our OpenAI web search, Perplexity AI web search, and Diffie web search for each of the generated search queries. We then structure the responses so that we can more easily work with it and feed all of that into our Gemini AI chat node. So this failed the first time. That's because we haven't added our OAuth to the send HTML email. So all I need to do is go down to the end of the, the workflow here and select my account that I want to add as OAuth. And we can run this one more time. Back up here, we're using Gemini AI chat to summarize all of the different search results that we got from each of these different providers. We're using that because it has a very long context window and it's cheap to use the long context window relatively. Uh, if you wanted to use another provider, you can use any of these models for your own use case by finding them in our node explorer, just search for keyless. And we have all of these and many more coming. There's even the AI chat select any model node. This one lets you choose any popular service as keyless. And it lets you switch between the models and services without having to switch nodes. All of the keyless nodes come with built-in conversational memory with a selectable length, temperature and max token values. And if supported by the model, you can choose whether to output text or a JSON object. We then do a little bit of formatting and take the markdown that was generated and turn that into an HTML email that we can send and then send the email to the email address that we provided at the beginning. So now that the workflow is completed, we see that the report was generated in Markdown. Nice long report, and we will look at the results in a moment over in my email. So now we look at this email I just received where we get the AI SEO performance report for BuildShip. We have an overall performance summary the search terms that were selected to be analyzed, no-code API development tools by no-code API platform, uh, things that are relevant for people to be searching for. It gives us some references of the top no-code API tools, and then it gives us a platform-specific performance, content gap analysis, keyword opportunities, and actionable recommendations for how we can improve our AI SEO. Now back in BuildShip, this is great to run once as a test, 
how can we make this a part of our weekly workflow to understand how is our AI SEO performance today and how is it changing over time? So we have a couple options. We can come in here to the triggers, to the connect tab. We can call this with a REST API call. So you can do this on demand if you have an existing system that you want to ship a report to. To get that connected, just hit connect and everything is pre-configured for you. We also have an email trigger. If you click connect here, it generates a build ship email address that you can send the search context as the text of the message, the email address you want to send back to as the person you send it from, and then the target entity as the subject. So you can imagine putting this into a workflow or sending somebody in your company um, instructions of how to engage with this every time they want to. The third trigger that we'll add is a cron job. And this allows you to run this once a week or however often you want. Now, what you can do here to set this up, take this schedule, put it into Claude and say, I want this to run once a week on Mondays, UTC at 10 p.m. And then paste in the cron value. Copy that. Put it back in build ship and hit connect. Now for this one, we have to type in manually the search context sent to and target entity um, and search query that we want. For this one, we should manually fill in the fields because this is going to run with the same values every week. Now we clicked ship to put this into production. Now that it's shipped, we can come over to the usage tab and come down here to the AI handoff. And this lets us copy this prompt. So instead of having to implement the JavaScript code into our applications, we have a nice handy dandy prompt, which gives us the sample inputs and outputs and lets us paste that into something like bolt.new cursor, uh, wherever we want to be able to integrate it into an existing system. We want to make sure you have the no code tools to do as little work as possible and let the agents do it for you. And this is one step towards that. So this is a great example of how we can take advantage of build ships, new keyless nodes to build AI use cases that use many different models without having to set up a single API key. We have a lot of new AI features like this in the works. Follow us on X for updates and check out our ship week coming soon. We're looking forward to seeing what you build.